uh, I need to get all that. Do not. You want to get everything? Yeah. And you have gas in this car, you said? I think so. Okay. I don't have any money, do you? I have my wallet. I just locked it in the glove box. How do you leave the house? You have no keys, no wallet. Like... I, it's it's a luxury. Not a lot of people can do that. Yeah, seriously. Makes me special. Special. Silly. Thank you for bringing that other box in with the uh, oh, takeout yeah. boxes. Was what was that? that takeout was... boxes for the party. Oh, you're, you're yeah, nice. I, I, I try and whenever I have a moment to do something. Way ahead, I'm just sitting shit in my hand. Do you think Chloe's in a good mood? I don't know. I can't see Chloe. She's right behind me. Is she comfortable? She got the little one to move through it and sit where she wanted. The little one was in that spot. Pretty quickly, I started to understand that if I was going to talk about my own personal connection to the Constitution, I would have to talk about my own. I have a quarter tank. You think I'll get there and back? No idea. Well, we'll find out. Like the clock is perfect now. Okay. How do you explain that? I don't talk about it in a way that's dry and academic and boring, but the way that Heidi Schreck means the Constitution to life and hope by it and it. And what was startling to me when I saw what the Constitution means to me, and also as I spoke to Heidi Schreck, was this notion that the Constitution is not only a living document, but it's a document that contains principles that matter to our daily lives, how we treat our bodies, how we treat other people, about how we get along in society what's fair, what's just, what's unfair, what's unjust. So as you listen to the conversation between me and Heidi, think about the ways that the Constitution affects you. Think about the ways maybe the Constitution could be made better. Think about reading it again. It's a bit short as a moment of work, that's for sure. And think, when you're watching the debates, among the 30 or 40,000 Democrats running for the nomination, what do you think your vision of what America should be like under the Constitution? That's good yours. For this episode, rather than focus on the news that's going on and this 